For 50 years, the California Energy Commission has been a driving force in shaping a vision of a clean energy future. Writing the book on efficiency, conservation, and renewable energy. Over the decades, we've made tremendous strides toward that future. This is how that journey began. In the 1970s, California was growing by leaps and bounds. Industry and agriculture were booming, and people were moving to the Golden State in record numbers. The question was, where would we get the electricity to power all these new homes and industries? As energy planners were grappling with this challenge, the OPEC oil embargo shook the nation. The U.S. had become dependent on oil imports from the Middle East, and when those nations turned off the tap, America was plunged into an energy crisis. California was especially vulnerable, with 60% of the state's electricity coming from oil, which had more than tripled in price. Legislators took action and, working with California's governor, Ronald Reagan, signed the Warren Alquist Act into law, establishing the California Energy Commission. Starting in 1975, this new central hub for policy and planning had a mandate to meet the state's skyrocketing demand for power. The commission had four key directives. Expand alternative and renewable power generation, reducing dependence on polluting fossil fuels, Cut red tape by putting power plant siting and permitting authority under one roof. Fund aggressive research and development to innovate new technologies and enact efficiency standards across the energy landscape, all the way to the consumer. Before the strategy was adopted, energy planners estimated the only way to meet the power demands of the growing state population would be to build as many as 60 nuclear power plants over the coming decades. But the leading minds at the time, like Dr. Art Rosenfeld, crunched the numbers and came up with a bold and innovative alternative. By making household appliances more efficient and enacting new building standards with an eye on energy conservation, California could avoid this demand disaster and save billions of dollars. Uh, I want to make a point that it was 20 years in which California saved the United States 100 power plants and it depended entirely on California standards. The success of this approach was staggering. During the 1980s population boom, energy demand actually fell by 5%. And efficiency standards have evolved over the decades as advancements in technology allow the appliances we use in our everyday lives to use less and less power. While the focus on energy efficiency has become an important policy worldwide, California is perhaps best known for the other parts of the equation. Putting clean energy innovations to work on the grid and replacing fossil fuels with renewables. The adoption of the Renewables Portfolio Standard in 2002 committed California to moving away from polluting fossil fuels as we grappled with growing concerns over global climate change. In 2018, Senate Bill 100 was signed into law, committing California to generating 100% of the state's power from renewable and zero carbon sources by 2045. That course was accelerated by Governor Gavin Newsom, moving the clean energy target to 90% by 2035, backed by aggressive policies to speed investment in renewables and the flexible grid that will make it possible. In the time since Governor Newsom took office, the state has added nearly 30,000 megawatts of clean energy generating capacity. In the first half of 2025, nine out of 10 days, Californians on the main grid had 100% clean energy on tap for at least part of the day. And after decades of work, the Golden State is officially two thirds of the way to our goal. With 67% of California's electricity coming from our strong mix of zero carbon power generation. We have the world's largest geothermal energy complex, the geysers in the hills of Sonoma and Lake Counties. And now the promise of Lithium Valley near the Salton Sea, where the hot brine from deep in the earth will generate power and provide a sustainable source for rare earth minerals key to our clean energy future. We have hundreds of hydroelectric generating stations along our many lakes and waterways, including the Helms Pumped Storage Power Complex, an engineering marvel in the Sierras near Fresno, celebrating its 45th anniversary in 2025. And we were early adopters of wind energy, which we continue to grow and modernize. With projects like the Alta Wind Energy Complex in Kern County, the third largest in the world, but the clean energy ace for sunny California has been solar power. 
Our investment in photovoltaic technology, turning sunshine directly into electricity, has brought down costs and supercharged innovation. Like the world's largest thin film photovoltaic plant, the Desert Sunlight Solar Project in Riverside County. In the last 10 years, California's solar power capacity has grown nearly 20 fold. And in August of 2024, we broke our own record for solar power production with more than 19,000 megawatts available on the grid, meeting demand during the hottest days of summer. Part of the challenge with renewables like solar and wind is making the grid more flexible for times when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. To address this, Governor Newsom made the deployment of battery storage a top priority over recent years. In 2024 alone, statewide battery storage grew by 50%. Now in 2025, we've reached nearly 16,000 megawatts and growing. A key part of this vision for the future is now becoming reality with the approval of the Darden Clean Energy Project in Western Fresno County, the largest combined solar and battery storage complex in the world. When completed, it will have 3 million solar panels combined with enough battery storage to power 850,000 homes for four hours. So solar power captured during the day can power air conditioners and charge electric cars at night. California's drive to bring zero emission vehicles into the mainstream has been a remarkable success. By the beginning of 2025, more than two million zero emissions vehicles have been sold in the Golden State. More than 1,200 zero emissions vehicles are sold every day. Nearly a quarter of all cars leaving showrooms are Zevs. And California has the most extensive charging network in the nation. The state now has nearly 50% more public, shared, and private EV chargers than the number of gasoline nozzles. And the EV revolution reaches far beyond California's garages and driveways. We are home to America's first all-electric school bus fleet in Oakland. So the children in that district can ride to school in quiet and efficient safety without breathing the diesel exhaust of buses from the past. All these achievements and milestones focus on efficiency, replacement of fossil fuels with renewables, and the transformation of transportation. Place California as the leader in the nation, number one in energy efficiency. And as we look to the future, the Energy Commission is striving to make sure everyone can share in the benefits of clean energy through energy justice in all communities. In 2019, we established the Justice, Access, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Initiative, JDI, ensuring we provide a supportive, inclusive workplace, inspiring a culture within the commission where state policies and programs bring dignity, health, and prosperity to all Californians. And the CEC prioritizes equity investments in disadvantaged communities. With the help and expertise of the Disadvantaged Communities Advisory Group, DACAG, established in 2015 by Senate Bill 350. So everyone is able to share in the benefits of clean energy and pollution reduction. Which means working closely with partners like California Native American tribes, assisting their efforts towards energy sovereignty with grants for projects like the Blue Lake Rancheria Microgrid, and providing $130 million in funding to help 35 tribes across the state over the last year. California is home to more than 30 major defense installations. We've worked side by side with our military partners in deploying clean energy solutions for national defense. And as we all face an uncertain future, the Energy Commission remains committed to overcoming the obstacles that lie ahead. That we know the, the challenge, the great challenge of our generation, is climate change. And the solutions for that, the seed planting, is here in our state, in California. It's all part of the California Energy Commission's mission, putting people and responsible environmental stewardship at the heart of a reliable, equitable, and affordable infrastructure, building a 100% clean energy future for all. Through 50 years of energy leadership,